And there we go. Welcome to Kidman Talk, episode 121. Did I get that right? Hey, this is Carl Bastian from Kidology.org, and thanks for taking some time to hang out with me. Hey, you can tell I am getting into the Christmas spirit. I know it's not even December yet. It's not even November yet. But we got snow here in Denver, and it's time to be planning ahead to make sure your Christmas is awesome for your kids. You know, that is the most important time of the year for them. They get so excited about Christmas. So I'm going to be telling you what Christmas curriculum I'm using this year for my Christmas teaching. It's brand new. It's actually in the final stages of getting produced, but I got an early sneak peek and you can get one too. I'm going to tell you about a Christmas game prize that I'm going to give away to somebody who's watching this podcast. I'm going to give you a Kidmanism today that is uh, critical to the success of your ministry. And I got some other things uh, to share with you as well. So whatever you're doing, wherever you are, take a little break, pause, and let's sit back and let's chill and let's talk Kidman with you right here on Kidology.org. So thank you for joining me. I love these opportunities to hang out with you on Kidman Talk. I'm going to get that timing right one of these days. Hey, I'm so glad you're hanging out with me. By the way, if you're new to Kidman Talk, I've been doing this for several, several years. It used to be called Children's Ministry Podcast. And uh, I switched to video about a year ago as podcasts. Not everybody could get podcasts. And then I had people mad at me that I wasn't doing the podcast. So what I'm doing now is I am putting this out in multiple channels. So I am hosting this right on the Facebook group for Kidman Talk. It's an open group so you can share it. So you just go to kidology.org forward slash Kidman group, Kidman Talk group. And you can see it there that I'm sharing it to my wall. I'm sharing it to the Kidology group, which you should also be in. But I'm also putting the audio out in iTunes for those podcast fans who have been giving me grief. You can get the podcast um, the old-fashioned way as well. I'm even putting it on our YouTube channel so that we can just get this out in as many channels as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away a prize to somebody who comments in one of those ways that I push this thing out there. So if it's in Facebook or YouTube or on a Facebook wall, just use the hashtag KidmanTalk and I will find it. And you can give me some feedback, you can ask a question, you can just compliment my hat, whatever you wanna do. Um, I'm gonna be looking for somebody and then I'm gonna pick a winner and they're gonna get a prize almost worth $20 and I'm gonna give them a free copy of the Christmas Clue Hunt. Now, if you've already got it, I'll give you the Easter one instead. Um, but Christmas Clue Hunt is a really fun uh, Christmas game. It's based on the game of Clue, but redesigned for kids. So there are trading cards of all of uh, the different characters and places and objects in the Christmas story, and then um, and they're they're just they're just so well done. Um, Todd Hampson did the artwork on that. You know his work from from um, the big big idea, uh, what's in the Bible. Uh, he's just all over the place. He does all kinds of amazing stuff. He illustrated the Kidology Handbook and the Cookbook and or the Ancient Novel. Just one of the best artists out there. The kids also get um, a little sheet. You recognize this from Clue Hunt. And they ask questions. They try to figure out um, not who did it where with what, <laughs> but what Bible character was where and what object did, did they have uh, with them. There's no murder in this version, right? This was for children's church. And uh, But the cool thing is you'll notice on the trading card, there is a QR code. And my good buddy Stanley Mears gave me this idea. Right there in small group or in church or families at home. And yes, you can reproduce this and give it to the families in your church. That's absolutely fine. Um, you, Q, you switch that QR code. It takes you to an online devotional or you can print them out. And for every, um, you know, like there's the wise men. Uh, I just printed out a couple. There's Nazareth. Um, there's the frankincense. And yes, there's reasons for the gold, the frankincense and the myrrh. And they all have to do with who Jesus was and why he came. And of course, the manger. And uh, But there's all of those locations. There's a devotional for every single one. And it's a lot of fun. So um, it's fully reproducible. You can create it once. There's even a cool background pattern that you can print on the back of the cards. 
So I'm going to give away one free to somebody who comments and hashtags Kidman Talk uh, wherever, however you watch this. All right. So that's awesome. We got that out of the way. The next thing I want to let you know is the next to last booster pack is about to drop on November 1st. This will be the 11th booster pack. And this has been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun this year. Every month, we have been putting together a booster pack to give your ministry a boost. There's a training video for you, a volunteer training video, a parent devotional. There's been a recruiting tool and a bunch of other stuff, a grab bag item. And so the ministry management video for this month is on budgeting. I know it's not very exciting, but it's super important because as you head toward the end of the year, you need to start planning and thinking about your budget and your spending and um, how you're going to do that. And that's a great video. And then for the volunteers, I've got a video on discipline, a, the calm discipline approach. You know me in acronyms, so calm stands for four important principles. And those videos are short and your volunteers do not have to be a member of Kidology, all right? You can either download the video and show it to them or send it to them, Dropbox or whatever, or you can send them a Vimeo link and a password and they can watch it right on their own phone tablet computer they don't have to log into Kidology. you just send that out to them you just need to be a member to get access to those and if you're not a member which you should be then you can get the booster pack and get all of them so we've got that for recruiting tool every month there's a new creative recruiting tool um, is an appreciation tool and they're postcards that you can send out to your volunteers so if you're one of my volunteers and you're watching this you gotta you gotta fast forward skip ahead so you don't know about this um, but it's just a really fun uh, little turkey jokes like what sound does a turkey cell phone make wing 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 all right let's pick another one here what do you call a sarcastic turkey a smirky all right so there's just four different postcards and then on the back um it has a little note um that just says i'd be a turkey if i didn't say thank you for all you do to serve our children we're absolutely stuffed with gratitude when i think of all oh when i thank god for all of his blessings i thank him for you so that's on the back and of course there's room for you um you know this just tells you how to do a postcard in case you don't know um to write a personal note address them stamp them and send one of those out to all your volunteers it just lets them know that you appreciate them and you're thankful for them all right so that's in there the booster packs in there there's a grab bag item and then i just did um countdowns this month and uh some of the feedback i got is some uh, well, people love them but a lot of people are like you know it's hard to hear it's chaotic in the room so this month i did a three minute uh, one minute, three minute, five minute, and 10 minute countdowns with no dialogue, just music, but they're Pez dispensers. So I used my Star Wars Pez dispensers. Yes, I did that. I also used my Scooby-Doo collection. All right, my Scooby-Doo collection of Pez. It's hard to hold a bunch of Pez dispensers. My um, Pez ones. Where's Scooby-Doo? Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> and so I got those. I've got... Um, uh, Muppet characters, there's a whole bunch of Pez dispensers. I had a bunch and then I went on eBay and I just ordered a miscellaneous bunch of them. So those are fun for uh, countdown videos for this month. They're all part of the booster pack or as always, they're free for members. Remember when you support Kidology with your membership fee, 10 bucks a month, it, it you get access to so many um, things as well as enable me to uh, continue to produce resources and to give them free to students, small churches, missionaries all over the world. So thank you for your support and your generosity. So I want to tell you what I am using for Christmas this year and let you in on it. I uh, discovered this at the MegaCon, which I'll be back at next year. Make sure you uh, sign up for that. I'll put a link in the notes as well. I'm doing a, another deep dive trek um, next year. But um you probably remember Elevate. Do you remember Mike and his team from Elevate? Well, they now have a new company called I See It Productions. And I'm guessing that's because they want kids to study the Bible. They want to break life so the kids go, I get it. I see it. That, that's just my theory. They didn't tell me that. Uh, but I See It Productions, their very first unit that they're coming out with is a Christmas one. All right. And it is called That's a Wrap. And it has video components, it has live action video components, but it's not a solely video curriculum where you plug and play and walk away. No, it's interactive with the kids, 
Um, I printed out some of it. You know, there's the lesson plan, and down here's the media components um, that you play as you're teaching through. Um, there's a full script for the teachers. Um, there are small group activities and games and, and things to cut out. There's a parent resource to send home. Um, you can get it right now. The videos, they're samples. If you just go to iSeeItProductions.com forward slash Christmas, you can watch uh, video clips of the Bible verse and the main point. And um, Yancey, you guys know Yancey. I promoted her Heartbeat series a while ago, and I taught that. Um, two of her songs are included in this. Um, they're christmas theme song, and it's a two-week series that's all about how God has a plan for you, just like he had for Jesus and just like he had for the shepherds and, all, and the characters in the Christmas story. He's got a plan for them, but they have to follow his instructions. I mean, what if the shepherds had heard from those angels and went, oh, that's cool. Uh, we'll get to that next week. They would have missed out. And so they followed the instructions. So it's about following good instructions, avoiding bad instructions. Um, so it's very practical and yet it's really fun. So um, I hope you'll uh, check it out with me. Um, it's called That's a Wrap. Um, you just go to iSeeItProductions.com forward slash Christmas or just go to their homepage because it's all about that unit right now. It's 69 bucks. That's an introductory rate, which I think means it could go up. And right now, all the printables are available for download, and they are scurrying to finish up all the videos, and they will be live by November 1st is the plan. So you'll have your full month of November to plan, to build a set. Um, I'm already excited about the set that I'm going to build. There's even a video that gives a, instructions on how to make a fireplace. So it's really cool. So check it out. Just go to iSeeItProductions.com and you can do forward slash Christmas to skip the homepage if you want and check it out. But that's I'm going to be teaching it the week before and the week after Christmas or maybe the two weeks before Christmas. I like that it's two weeks. Christmas this year falls right in the middle of the week. So you can sandwich Christmas with these two lessons or you can do two weeks leading up to Christmas and do a New Year's afterward or whatever. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, one of the things I want to do with this podcast as I wrap this up is share with you what I'm calling a kidmanism. All right? it's, a, it's a principle of wisdom um, to apply to your kids' ministry. And it's especially applicable as we head into the Christmas season. And so my kidmanism for you today is that just enough, or excuse me, good enough, is not enough. You know, a lot of times in ministry, you know, it's hard work and we put time in it. We reach a point where we go, you know what, that's good enough. But you know what? God is worthy of our best and the kids deserve our best. And so just doing good enough, it's not enough. We need to go above and beyond. And especially at Christmas, you know, for us as adults, Christmas comes like it's Christmas again already, you know, and it becomes an annual tradition. And if you've had, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 Christmases, you know, it can start to feel routine. But for kids, it's not routine. For them, it is the most magical and delightful and exciting time of the year. And we have to tap into that inner child in us and say, you know what, we're going to make this Christmas the most awesome ever. So, you know, in your decorating, um, that's why, you know, I ordered this hat on eBay so I can wear a silly hat in the way you dress, in the enthusiasm that you have about it. Make sure that you never say out loud or in your mind or heart, um, that, well, this is good enough because I just want to say good enough is not enough. We need to go all out. And you know what? It makes a huge difference because our enthusiasm is contagious. You've probably heard the saying, you're either a thermostat or a thermometer. You know, a thermometer just reflects the temperature. Thermostat sets it. So in your ministry, choose to be the thermostat. Choose to be the one that sets the tempo, sets the energy level, sets the bar, and determines those things because it becomes contagious and others will rise with you and make this holiday season amazing to the kids. So say it with me. Good enough is not enough. Say it again. Good enough is not enough. We want to give God our all. So thanks for watching. Let me play my ending music here. There it goes. Boom. Thanks for watching Kidman Talk. Remember, you can communicate with me through the comments. And I'm going to give away a free copy. Oh, I threw it. <laughs> 
free copy of Christmas Clue Hunt to one person who comments, gives some word of encouragement, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, wherever, just hashtag Kidman Talk, and I will find it. I will find you, and I will give you that prize. So thanks.